ashver.com. Hello and welcome to ashver.com. You are watching an interesting video on sign and symptoms of diabetes insipidus dash. Please read the disclaimer carefully. Diabetes is the most common disorder found in the human population. In this article, understand diabetes insipidus in detail. Basically there are two types of diabetes, one is diabetes mellitus and the second one is diabetes insipidus. Diabetes mellitus is a common condition in which there is an elevated blood sugar level, whereas diabetes insipidus is a disorder or condition in which despite taking excessive amount of fluids, thirst is intense and secretion of urine increases. Antidiuretic hormone, ADH or vasopressin, which is stored in the pituitary gland of the body plays an important role in causing diabetes insipidus, because when ADH level increases, the kidney reabsorbs the water and excretes large amount of urine. In this condition, lesser amounts of water conservation occur and urine is excreted in a diluted form. The signs and symptoms may include the following. Excessive thirst, frequent urination, bedwetting, nocturia, urge to urinate through the night, dryness of skin, fussiness, fever, vomiting, diarrhea, weight loss, constipation, enlargement of bladder, discoloration of urine, infants may have lack of growth. Diabetes insipidus occurs because of the improper regulation or handling of fluids inside the body. Generally, the kidneys filter and pass all the body fluids from the blood. This is then stored in the bladder temporarily in the form of urine. The production of ADH or vasopressin, which is an antidiuretic hormone greatly, affects the excretion rate of urine. In central diabetes insipidus, secretion of antidiuretic hormone is very less. If any part of the brain is affected or injured, it directly affects the formation and storage of antidiuretic hormone. Factors such as surgery of the brain, head injuries, infections, tumors of the, of the brain, sickle cell disease, blockage of brain arteries and sometimes genetic factors are also responsible for this. Normally kidney conserves water and makes it concentrated due to a response or signal to kidney according to the ADH level, but in nephrogenic diabetes insipidus, the kidney does not respond to the signals of ADH. Nephrogenic diabetes can be inherited, but there are certain drugs which are responsible for causing the diabetes insipidus such as lithium. It is also seen when calcium levels in the blood increases and potassium level decreases. Dipsogenic diabetes insipidus occurs when there is an imbalance in the process of thirst which may lead to excess of thirst and urination. Gestational diabetes is seen only in pregnant women because during pregnancy hormonal levels are high, and they are indirectly responsible for causing this type of diabetes. Diabetes insipidus can be hereditary as well as due to various other factors also. It can be prevented by exercising regularly, by maintaining weight, taking healthy and proper diet and reducing other risk factors like elevated blood pressure and cholesterol level. Smoking should be avoided as it increases the chances of causing diabetes insipidus. Besides these, there are certain medications that help in diabetes insipidus such as dismopressin which is given orally in the form of tablet. It can also be taken as nasal spray or via injection. Besides, hydrochlorothiazide may also be given or in combination with other drugs especially in nephrogenic diabetes insipidus. Thank you for watching this interesting and informative video. This channel offers motivational inspirational, valuable and informative videos to soothe, cleanse and inspire your health, mind, body and spirit. You can find lot of interesting videos on wide range of topics here, stay tuned and keep watching.